right here. Too sketchy for me. <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. Here's the deal. We're up here with this fine piece of machine right here. We're about to shred some tires. I'm gonna tell you all of my secrets, the best SR20 knowledge that's ever graced the earth. He's gotta put Brandon on, you know what I mean? That's right, yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. Tito, are we calling this thing anything? I'm like the not burn yard. Something, the <laughs> something not, like yeah. The same <laughs> idea as burn yard, but not. But the here in Texas. The shred yard. <laughs> All right, so long story short, YouTube, what up? But welcome back to another episode. We're trying something new again today. Shout out to Patrick for coming through. So you guys are gonna learn all about Patty, his car, his program, his life, his soon-to-be wife. Anyways. Ah! Uh, but yeah, with that being said, we got the backyard. We're almost like at a sunset setting here. So we're just gonna highlight Patty, burn some tires, and see where this type of content takes us. This was all Tito's idea for those watching. So if you want others to come through the backyard and get featured. I'm the first of the first? You're the, literally the oh, first. Wow, let's do it. Tito said, yo, Patty's coming. We're burning tires. We're doing a spotlight video. So here we are. I gotta, I gotta set the bar. Set the. He asked where the uh, quote unquote man line is, <laughs> and I told him no one's really laid a man line down yet. You know. But yeah, so let's start off with uh, breaking down the car, right, Tito? Yep. All right, let's break the car down. Uh, so keep it simple. I've been. This is my third S chassis I've built. I've been drifting for ten years. I have learned a lot over the years, but this is my favorite version of these cars yet. Also, you got this like blue vibe going. Yeah, blue. This is the my the second car I painted this color. It's my favorite blue. I have a lot of people asking what the paint color is. If you really want to know, I guess don't, I could tell you. Don't tell them. Like, <laughs> All right. So this is my SR20. It is an S13 SR. Uh, it's a built motor, like I said. But I run a T28. I run stock factory boost. I don't even have a boost controller or anything. Stock ECU. Stock injectors. I have a big fancy catch can just because I like it's kind of like inspired by the C's Garage cars. Big inspiration for me. I love those guys in their cars. And you've made some SRs last quite some time, right? Like how many SRs have been in and out of this car? This car, specifically, this motor was built for this car. But my past cars, I you know, I think the longest I had an SR was five years. And that was actually one that I built, my first one that I built. What are you doing to make them last so long? Or like, is there any special tricks or tips you want to give to kids that, you know what I mean? Like, or anything you want to share as far as like. Absolutely. I mean, as far as like, motor building stuff that's a whole different thing but as far as like keeping these motors reliable in your car always like hardwire your fuel pump to a relay definitely like have a boost, boost leak tester check all your boost leaks i mean it's really simple stuff like a lot of the problems with these cars are just user error and like make sure you know, know how to use a timing lighter find someone who does like it's all just really simple stuff i i say it's simple but like i guess it's not you know because everyone always blows these things up but <laughs> that's uh, what i was asking no i have absolute faith in these motors you know they they've done me well over you know a decade of drifting so and also you know, buy new lifters. If you're building a motor, buy new lifters. Big yeah. important fact. But yeah, other, other than that, I mean like it, literally it's just a stock motor. But I have a Z32 trans, a little beefier clutch. Still have stock 240S axles, welded diff. Sick. It's simple. I mean like it's 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 like got the beefy upgrades around it, but like the base of it's all really simple stuff. No fancy you know, suspension stuff, just BC racing coils and cut knuckles and extended control arms. Cosmetics is, uh, I'm running Workstein, my favorite kit. And then I got some Origin like Type 4 style fenders which are really big. I may downsize in the future because they're super wide, as you can see. If you want to see my my secret up here. <laughs> I've seen that freaking aluminum brick oh in there, dude. <laughs> That's the secret sauce right there. How many mil? Enough to party. I think it's three inches. <laughs> three inches, I believe, is what it's up there, yeah. I have three inch in the front, two inch in the back. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, uh, tell me about what events has this car seen, dude? Where do you use this thing? Man, so this car specifically, like, I think uh, this this whole area of this car, I think, is really focused around, like, doing final bout and, and knuckle up and style events, you know, that's based around aesthetics and, you know, fun driving. Not really so much competition stuff, although Final Bout is competition and we love to win, so. Didn't you do well? Yeah, we recently just won Final Bout South. <laughs> so that was a huge, huge dub for us. And then will you finish in uh, Wisconsin? Yeah, US Air. US Air. Yeah, we're looking forward. We'll, we've been going back, because we went there last year. We're looking forward to going back later this year. So that's our that's our summit of the year, for sure. Off camera, we talked about maybe bringing Patty's team through as well for a future episode, but. So it is, this is a street car. It's fully street legal. It's got a, it's got a sub. Look at the backseat speaker. It's got everything. 
And you got to shout out a good feeling, right? Yeah, that is my, that's my guys. That's all of us. It's a thing that I started, I guess, I think I want to say in 2017 is when I started it. And I didn't really know where I was going to go with it or what I wanted to do. I just like wanted something to identify myself with and a way to, I guess, market myself and as a creative and just have an avenue, you know, to do yeah. stuff like that. Because originally it was like your brand, right. but then it turned into your team. Right. I mean, it's both still. So like I do all of the, you know, the products and the, you know, the marketing stuff, it's all me. Like that's all just my thing but kind of duels as a team and a brand I guess so it, it works That's this awesome. is my new my new favorite thing that I made recently dude sick the party don't stop you know he's, uh, sick. he's always jamming in there the subframes all stock just got some ISR pro arms that's about it. Like I, I like the simplicity of this car and I, I don't like to do all of the crazy over, you know, adjustable stuff because I'm not very good at it, one. Right, right, right. <laughs> Two, uh, I mean, I'm sure it does help. Eventually down the road, I will end yeah. up doing it. I was telling Nate earlier that I do plan on going top mount turbo with this car over the summer before final about seven. So there's definitely gonna be some changes that uh, I've never, you know, got to experience on my own car yet. So really looking forward to that. And before the top mount turbo and before you burn some tires, remind me like what power does this put down right now? <laughs> I've never been on a dyno. It's Sock tune, so okay. probably like 230, 240, maybe. Cool. Is that seven pounds? I just drove uh, Brandon's coupe SR, and same concept, right? His is stock, and that thing was so fun to drive out here yesterday, dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, like they're they're definitely like driver's car. You have to power around. Wheel and tire setup. This is our uh, Work XT7s, 18 by nine and a half rear, and then 17 by nine up front. I have these on this car, and I also have a whole matching set on my Skyline as well. They're my favorite wheel. So yeah, for those watching, we were trying to think about like titling this stuff. What was it? S uh, 650 one versus the world so when you come through and you do this uh, with us we want to reward you some rear tires so I told Patty off camera we're gonna send him home with some 265s 651 sports which I've never used before so I'm really excited to test them out yeah so shout out to Accelera let's burn some tires right let's do it let's do it No one's done this line. Dudes, Dude. we're in. <laughs> oh, yeah, sick. Patty! Alright. Dude! That was tight. <laughs> that was sick! <laughs> that line right there? Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh. Alright, there's a little <laughs> wheel hop going left side, so I gotta I think I'm gonna try to get a little closer and, and uh, hit the little dumpster dive or something. Hell yeah. I'm gonna do some laps and cool down.
I know we don't have any uh, man lines yet, but damn, he's putting some together. We need like a trash can line or something, dude. <laughs>
so sick. sick, dude. That was fucking sick. That was the gnarliest driving in the backyard to date, yeah. Yeah. honestly. Alright, I hope I set a pretty good example for the rest Come of on, the right. that coming up through here. I don't want to hear nothing about no rocker arms or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Fuck yeah. That's right, dude. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, what was your favorite part? Shit. Obviously, the favorite part is the k -Rail. Everyone's standing along it. It's giving me SEMA vibes again. Taking me back to the good old days. Yeah. Seeing everyone on the... Ah! Yeah. That shit was sick. Yeah, definitely getting close to that. Like, hitting the switch up, like, wall to dumpster to wall. And just, like, the trailer and, like, getting risky with that. The hatch under the trailer was my favorite part. That was insane, dude. Yeah. All right, so check it. We're going to send them off with some 265s for uh, no reason other than say thank you for coming to the backyard and putting on a show. Appreciate you, bro. This is, I mean, this is the best gift ever. I come here, break my car, and get free tires. It's awesome. <laughs> hey, you can't be happier, man. Thank you, guys. Sick. Shout out, Excelra. Shout out, Nate. In every way.